Hi friends, welcome to our result today is the science series. So today is the fourth episode in the science series. So today in science it is physics. So in physics, in the last episode of the physics series we discussed about forces. So today we are going to discuss more about forces. So today it is forces part 2. Okay, so let's start. So first turning forces. Yes. So instead of just moving or accelerating an object in a line or sending a force in of in a straight line in a different direction, forces can also be used to turn an object around a point known as an axis or a pivot. So the normally the other forces will move other objects from like this or to there or any other way of moving an object while these turning forces will move anything around an axis point or pivot so like example in a seesaw or some a merry-go-round ride round or some extreme rides right if you saw you may have seen in the in some theme parks some very big theme parks there would be very fast rotating rides which go like this rotate very fast around again the main structure is also rotating causing you to just <laughs> lots of dizziness yes i know personally wrote those things yes so this kind of force works on wheels so in wheels it has the same thing inside them so next in seesaws and most fairground rides except the slides they don't have anything inside them except a ladder and slide yes okay so the moment. So when a force acts to turn an object around the pivot, the effect of the force is called its moment. So when this force is going to move the object around or just next to the pivot, so that force, the effect of that force is known as the moment. So the moment is detected, I mean, or measured in, measured I mean, measures called, guess it, Newton meters. Yes. So, examples for this is the seesaw. So, here there's a greater weight. So, this increases the moment. So, for example, this think of this person having a greater weight than this person. So, because of that, the seesaw will tilt like this. Yes. So, next, centripetal forces. So, a constant force has, force has to be applied to keep an object turning in a circle. So, obeying Newton's first law of motion. So, so, okay. so, so for something to always move, a constant force should be pushing the thing. Yes. So, that is the first law of Newton. I mean, I, of motion by Newton. Yes. So, the centripetal force pulls the turning object towards the center of rotation so as i said before an example of the right so this is a very big right here so in the middle here is the point or the axis we can say yes so in the middle there is the axis around so here some machines will turn this like this so i will show the normal force other forces so normally the force will go like this but because of the connections down up here the centripetal force needs to work so all of this must be con will connect to turn it into a round circle instead of just going into different different directions so another example is you can do it this by yourself so we can take a rope any rope you have next you can rotate it with your hand then suddenly release it so then it will just fly away so this is because that rope is you are rotating like this right the rope he wants to go there but again it is connected to you right so it needs to go like this so that is the same thing in orbits in planets also just like the Earth's orbit or any other planet's orbit in the solar system so again your example so finally when you release it because of the force it will just go away and because of that outward force only it will stay like this instead of falling down or collapsing yes 
So this is for today about forces part 2 bye